I want to show you the basics of monitoring what the students are doing with the classroom management software. Now, first of all, um, when you first bring up your software, your students come into your class, you have to make sure that the class you want them to connect to is already active. And that was gone over in a previous video. So you want to make sure of that. And then students can connect to you as they enter. But another thing you can do is auto connect any student that has previously been connected to that class. So as long as you've done that first connect everyone to the class, you'll see a black box with their name on it because they've been connected in the past. So then all I have to do is click auto connect and it's going to connect me to that student whether they like it or not. Um, another great feature then is if I clicked that auto connect again, do you see when I mouse over it, it says lock slash unlock all students. If I connect, click that again, it is going to prevent the students from being able to disconnect. So you don't have that situation where a kid figures out that if he just disconnects from you and you don't notice that he's gone, he can get away with not being monitored. So now we've locked down um, the class and they are not able to disconnect. Okay, now I am monitoring in a little tiny mini view my student right here. You would have, you know, 20 of these little boxes with names on your screen. That is an actual monitoring of their screen. It is live, even though it's very, very small. So that little snapshot right there will still make it obvious or show you if they're doing something that's really obvious, at least. But we can get a much closer look. We can zoom in, which makes those boxes bigger. Um, but then you might have to scroll in order to be able to see everybody. So you probably want to leave them as big as you can make them and still see your whole class in this window. Another thing I can do is double click on the student and it'll show me that student's screen bigger and I can go even bigger than that and make it my full screen. So now I can really see exactly what that student's doing, what they have open, what's going on. Um, and there's some other features here too. I can go up here and I can share that student's screen. I can also control that student's screen. Um, so those are some different options that you have and, and there's a lot more details in there too. But I'm gonna close back out of that for now. Um, another option that you have um, is to silent all of your students' screens at once. Now, I can do that from here. I can select a certain student and silent their screen. Um, if you do that on the student end, their screen just goes black and it says silent right across the front. They can't do anything. They have no control of their computer anymore. So that's a really good option when you want to get the entire class's attention. Um, you can do it with a whole class or you can do it with an individual. So from this screen, you do that with one or two individuals. You just select the students you want and click silent. I can click silent off to give them their screen back. The easiest way to do that with the entire class is to minimize your program, which gives you this little bar up here, and anything you do with it in this minimized mode is going to apply to your entire class. So here I have that silence button once again. And by the way, you can pin this so that it stays open. So I can use that button to silence the entire class. And then I would use this button to give the whole class their screen back. So I'm going to go back into my main mode. Um, those are just some of the details about how to quickly monitor what your students are doing on their computers. There's a lot more detail to those things, but that is your basic overview.